Today I'm gonna show my Snestel 800T emulation process in Affinity Photo. Even if you use Adobe software, the process is almost the same so that you can do it in like Photoshop. In the first half of this video, I'm gonna add the film look to my digital picture. And then in the latter part of this video, I'm gonna add halation, which is the salient feature of Cinestill 800T. I'm gonna use this picture and make like this. So let's get right in. Actually, this process depends on the picture, but I usually decrease saturation and quality a little. and slightly darken the image to get film look. You can control white balance here. But I'm gonna change it in tone curve, so here I adjust it slightly so that it looks slightly tungsten color. Don't forget to add grain. This is a raw image. In black area, RGB is close to zero, which means black is almost completely black. But film image usually has faded black that the lowest RGB is around 10 to 30. Of course it depends on the film and the environment. This is a picture taken with Sinister 800T, I guess. In black part, Green is close to zero, but red and blue is approximately 10 to 30, so the black part is a little bit faded. In this part, I'm gonna add fade to the dark area of the picture and adjust RGB color using digital color meter, which is a native application of this Mac. In order to add fade, I use tone curve and lift the black point of the curve a little bit. You see, the fade is added. black area. Red is the strongest color and green is the weakest. From highlight to mid, green and red is dominant than blue. So I'm gonna increase red in black area and highlight area, decrease green in black area and some adjustment to blue. I'm using arrow keys to control the curve. By the way, this is quite rough adjustment. If you want to emulate the color more precisely, I recommend you to use Color Checker and Capture One. Capture One is much more specialized for color correction and grading, and you can adjust more details.
Alright, I think I'm done. Then press develop button. From now on, I'm trying to add halation to the highlight area. First, I'm gonna duplicate the image. Then choose threshold to choose the highlight part of the image. And make them into group. I'm going to add Gaussian blur to the chosen highlight and choose screen in the top. I add pixel layer and fill it with red. Then choose a linear burn to make them into group. screen in the top. Next I add tone curve and level curve to this red field layer. Just imitate the shape of the curve when you do it in your computer. Then add level adjustment. Touch white level and gamma here. You see the really good halation there. The process from now on is not better. Choose original image and add Gaussian blur. This is with and this is without. And duplicate the image and shift it to left and top slightly. I use arrow keys on my keyboard to move the image. This is a quite subtle effect. We've been looking how to add Cinesteel 800T halation and emulate its color in digital picture. When I emulate the Cinesteel 800T look, I usually edit color in Capture One and then add halation in Affinity Photo because Capture One is more specialized for color correction and grading. In halation adding process, I usually use Affinity Photo. It's like, you know, Photoshop things. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you then.